Yeah. Just normal stuff. <laughs> All right, so that clip you just saw was me taking my old couch to the dump, but after I took off all the cushions and saved as much fabric as I could. And I did this so I could try and see if I could make a dress out of the old fabric because I saw on Makara Tuber's channel, she did that. So I wanted to try it. So first step is to look at some inspiration pictures. I like the seams on this one. And I like the shape of this one. So now I'm just combining the details for the two of those and making a sketch of what my final dress will look like. Now to prep my materials, I laid out all the couch cushions to see how much fabric I had to work with. Then I took some scissors and I cut off all the fabric on the edges that was unusable. So I finished trimming off all the edges and zippers and stuff, but the problem now is that they're all slightly different colors. So possible solution I just flip them all over and now they're not faded on this side so it's a way more even tone to work with. So I just finished cutting out all my skirt pieces here and I used a pattern from a previous skirt I had made and just folded it in half. I've got two front pieces and two back pieces and they're all, they've all got the stripes going vertically and I draped and cut out my front bodice pieces but I cut them the same <laughs> side. So I've got two of the right half of my bodice. So now I gotta redo that. So I just pinned the skirt together along the side seams and the front middle so that I could just test and see how it fits, if it's large enough, which amazingly has Lots of extra room, so I have more seam allowance and room for darts in the back. Brief intermission, because my machine is already threaded. It's over here with orange. So I'm gonna finish the project I was working on first. So now that that's done, I'm just going in and sewing some darts on the back of my skirt. I'm also sewing darts on the front of my bodice. All right, so these are my two front pieces of my skirt, right sides together, and I've pinned them along the center front and I'm just gonna sew right along here. So now that the two front pieces are sewn together on the center front, I'm gonna take my two back pieces and sew them on the side seams. Now I'm just doing a quick fitting and I'm marking with a fabric pen on the side uh, where I need to take the hips in and making sure that I'll still be able to bend my hips.
I also tried on the bodice and held up the skirt just to make sure they fit together nicely. So I'm trying it on and I like it, but I made the waist lower than I meant to. And so it looks a little more businessy than I wanted it to. But I got this seam to line up so nicely that I don't want to take it apart and do it again. <laughs> so I didn't. Now I'm folding the armholes and neckline under and then I'm just top stitching that in place so that they have a clean hem. Then I went in with some Stitch Fix and applied that along the fraying edge so that it doesn't come unwrapped. Now it's time for the zipper. So first thing I did was burn the edges a little so that they don't fray. And then I pinned and sew it to the opening in the back. So here's our try on of the dress and it's a little big in the waist so I think I'll take it in a little bit and I still have to hem it but I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I marked where I wanted the new waistline to be before taking the sides and then I just sewed along that line. Then I added some decorative stitches to the side of each seam. To finish up the dress, I folded it under and top stitched the hem. And that's it! Here's the final look.